Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dana. Today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite products for smooth skin. Summer is quickly approaching, manifesting that quick summer weather because I need it so badly. Bikini season is my absolute favorite. So I'm going to be talking about my hair removal methods and how to prevent ingrowns, how I get my skin really smooth, all that good stuff. I know body hair removal is super personal. I like to have no hair like anywhere. So um, do whatever makes you feel confident. That's what makes me feel the best. I like to be like a seal. So I have tried out multiple different ways of hair removal. I have done waxing in the past. I have done uh, shaving, which is what I currently do. And I also have a little handheld device that I use at home. All right, so let's jump into the good stuff. Dive on in. I've been watching so much American Dad lately. Roger, true or false, is like the best written character on a show. Everything he says is hysterical. So I mentioned that I used to do waxing. I'm just going to talk about that a little bit. I really only did like Brazilian waxes. I wouldn't wax my full body because I don't like waiting for the regrowth. Because the hair was thinning, I was getting a lot of ingrown hairs and it was just like bumpy and then I was picking and it was just not a good situation. So I decided to go back to shaving because I can do it more frequently and not have to spend a lot of money. I also should mention that waxing um, does not last long for me. I do have very fast growing thick hair so I would start to notice regrowth in like two weeks and then I would have to wait for it to reach a certain length where I could wax it. And I was just there every like three weeks or so and it became a really expensive. And also like, I just don't wanna have to be a slave to something. That's the reason I don't really like to go get my nails done all the time um, or do like, I like that's, I just, I'm not somebody who enjoys high maintenance maintenance. So um, that's my little spiel about waxing. I know a lot of people do love it. Another thing to note about waxing, if you are interested in doing any type of laser hair removal, you will have to discontinue because with waxing, they are pulling out the root of the hair. And with any type of laser device, um, whether you're doing it at home or in a salon, I do believe you need that root intact. So it's actually getting rid of that hair. So that was another reason I decided to skip on the waxing. So let's talk about the little device that I have here. This one is by Happy Skin Co. It looks exactly like the Kenzie device, uh, which I've seen a lot of as well. I think I found this on like a Facebook ad, honestly, and it was like pretty cheap. It was like 200 bucks for a laser hair removal device that is pretty inexpensive. I do have a Tria as well. That one I believe is about $500. But when I tell you that thing is so painful, I couldn't even do level one. And then taking into account that the little screen is so small on that, you need so many little zaps. I just, I couldn't do it. So I had read some reviews on this and it said that this was very painless. So I decided to give it a shot. So this is an IPL laser. I'm not super well versed in the types of lasers, but I do know that this is not something that is permanent. So you will have to keep up with it. I do this about once a week. I'm currently doing my legs in my bikini area. My legs, I have noticed a huge difference in already there are certain spots where I don't have hair like growing at all anymore. So I'm really excited about this. I just looked on the site and this looks like an older model. So I don't know if they have this one in particular, but it looks like the machines are about $200, $160. They do have a couple different options. And I can use this on level four or five and still not feel pain. And like I said, I do have very thick hair. It is taking a little bit longer on my bikini area, but I am noticing as well areas uh, where there is no hair regrowth at all. So I absolutely have been loving this machine. Okay, so now getting into the actual hair removal portion. Um, I did mention that I like to shave. I 
currently am using the Athena Club razors. I think I'm signed up for refills every three months. I uh, also had previously tried out the Billy razors. Those left a lot of irritation on my skin. I do have pretty sensitive skin, but I have not had any issues with the Athena Club razors. Okay, so now that we've talked about the razors that I like to use, let's back it up a little bit because I do have a bit of a pre-shaving ritual and I feel like this all ties into why I get a really nice smooth close shave with no ingrowns or anything like that. So I don't really have a huge ingrown hair problem on my legs. Um, it's mostly like the bikini area. So that's really where I do this whole routine. But I will say I do exfoliate my legs as well before shaving every single time. My two absolute favorites are the Glossier Body Hero. Uh, I do have one in my shower as well, but this is an exfoliating bar. I love this. I didn't think I was going to like it because usually like when I've bought products like this from Lush or anything in the past, um, they don't hold up really well. They're not gritty enough. If I had to describe this in a way, it's almost like a sandpaper block, but like for your body and it smells wonderful. It exfoliates super well. So this is probably like my all time favorite, but for a drugstore option, the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish is amazing. The exfoliating beads are suspended in a cream, so this is really hydrating. I also really like this scent. It does come in a few different ones, but this is the original. This is the crushed macadamia and rice milk formulation. But let's move on to like the bikini area because that's like really where I feel like most of us have trouble with like ingrowns and things like that. So step one, in shaving is exfoliating. Um, I do like to use the bar for this area specifically. And when you are exfoliating, this is a tip that I learned when I would go get waxes, is you want to exfoliate just up and down. You don't want to do circular motions. Um, I feel like the woman said that it caused more ingrowns to do that. And when I started exfoliating just up and down or like really just in the direction in a way that the hair grows, if that makes sense, I noticed way less ingrowns. So that is a really good tip. This is a little bit of an extra step, but after exfoliating, I do like to go in with an oil on the area. The basis of this routine I should mention is not my design. This is from like a super, super old Reddit. She had, I think, said to use a baby oil. I like to use something that's easier to rinse that I'm not going to like fall and break my face in the shower. So I love the Trader Joe's um, almond body wash. I don't have a bottle right now to show you guys because I just ran out. Um, but this is nice because it does emulsify and it's easy to rinse off. Um, but it, this oil step is going to help soften the hair so it's a little bit easier to shave. You also want to make sure that shaving is like one of the last things you do in the shower because you want a chance for those um, cuticle, the hair cuticles, I mean follicles to like open up and um, it's just going to be a little bit easier to get a closer shave um, if everything is like steamy and warmed up. So try to save that for the end of the shower if possible. So after patting oil into the area, I will go in with my shaving cream. I have been loving the moisturizing cream shave from Trader Joe's. This is honey mango with aloe and vitamin E. I know a lot of people recommend shaving also with an oil or a conditioner. Those always get stuck in my razor and it's like super annoying. I like this because um, it's moisturizing, but it, it doesn't get stuck in the razor. So I can shave, you know, pretty quickly without having to like constantly clean out a clogged razor. Um, this leaves my skin hydrated. So I really have been enjoying this. So once I'm all shaved and dried off and out of the shower, I then go in with this PFB, I don't know why I just stumbled, I forgot what the letter B was, PFB Vanish. It's a weird thing to say, it's very hard to say. Try saying that out loud, PFB, PFB Vanish. I don't know why I'm struggling with that. Okay, anyway, um, but this is a post waxing and shaving serum and it is a roll on. So this has um, chemical exfoliants in this. Just a warning if you are using this and you're going out to the sun or using this on areas that will be exposed to the sun, just make sure that you are wearing SPF. This will help to calm any irritation and also because it is a chemical exfoliant, it is really helpful uh, in preventing ingrowns 
as well. And you can use this also no matter what method of hair removal you use, but I do really think it has helped my bikini area stay super, super smooth. So I love this. And then the final product that I like to use is a unscented deodorant. Um, the one that I have is from Dove. This is for sensitive skin. The reason I like to use this is because the more you're like sweating and going about your day, that actually causes um, irritation. So if you can stay like as dry as possible in that area, it's actually going to help a lot. At first I was like, deodorant? Really? Like there? But then I tried it and I don't think I could ever go back because it really does make a huge difference. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. If you don't love the idea of using a um, deodorant on your bikini line. You can also use some sort of powder. So I have this Mega Babe Bust Dust Anti-Boob Sweat Powder that I do use um, in the summer under my boobs because boob sweat is so annoying. This is also very effective. So another little quick tip that I picked up is I try to avoid wearing underwear after shaving because it, again, it's just sitting in the area that I just shaved. So it does tend to cause irritation. Obviously you're not going to be able to do this every single time that you shave, but I don't know if you're just like hanging at home, wear like loose fitting clothing afterwards. All right guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and picked up some tips that uh, maybe you hadn't heard before. Let me know of some of your best tips in the comments because I'm sure everyone else would love to read them as well. I will keep you guys updated on the IPL laser. But as I said, I do think it is working really well so far. Let me know some other summer themed videos that you want to see. I love the summer. I come alive in the summer. I don't know if I'm biased because I was born in the summer, but I love the season. I don't even acknowledge the fact that spring exists because once I see sun and warm weather, I'm like, oh, summer. Spring is stupid because it rains a lot and whatever. Who cares about spring? Anyway, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, an amazing rest of your week, and I